This, then, is the history of the Umbrella Corporation. Formed by crusading scientist, Professor James Marcus. Marcus had a young daughter, Alicia, afflicted with progeria, a progressive, fatal, wasting disease. Progeria caused premature aging. By the time she was 25, Alicia would have the body of a 90-year-old. Marcus was driven to save her, but the odds seemed impossible. And even as he worked desperately to create a cure, the young girl's father would record his daughter, her voice, her likeness, saving her for posterity. But then the breakthrough came. Marcus discovered the T-virus. Once injected, it would detect and repair damaged cells within the body. It was a miracle. The life of Alicia Marcus was saved. The T-virus had a myriad of applications, treating a thousand different diseases. Overnight, it seemed a new era was dawning, a world without the fear of infection, sickness, or decay. But it was not to be, for the T-virus had certain unforeseen side effects. first of the undead was born. The incident was quickly covered up. In the aftermath, James Marcus argued furiously with his business partner, Dr. Alexander Isaacs. I don't care how much it costs. We have to close the program down. James, we're gonna be ruined. My mind is made up. Pity. <laughs> Off to bed, Alicia. Your father and I are just talking. Go on. Dr. Isaacs became the guardian of his dead partner's child and her half of the company. The corporation that had begun with such lofty ideals had been seduced completely by greed and power. To help him control the now vast interests of the Umbrella Corporation, Dr. Isaacs created a powerful artificial intelligence. Isaacs used the likeness of Alicia Marcus for the computer's interface. Isaacs called the computer the Red Queen. Then, 10 years ago in Raccoon City, there was an outbreak. The T-virus escaped from an underground laboratory called the Hive. The American government attempted to contain the outbreak by detonating a bomb. It devastated Raccoon City, but it couldn't stop the airborne infection. The viral outbreak spread across the world within days. Humankind was brought to its knees. Finally, the last and best hope of humanity gathered and took a last stand in Washington, D.C. But we didn't realize that what we had walked into was a trap. My name is Alice. And this is my story, the end of my story.